Well, here we go. If I'm gonna put it in the mud, this would be the spot to be. This is the inside channel that's received a lot of rain lately. And this type of mud, it's like a, a mud clay dirt. It's just thick and heavy and disgusting. And <laughs> that's what tumbleweeds look like when they get wet. Lots of, uh, lots of weeds in there and it almost looks separated. It's like a, a peanut butter where the oil has risen to the top and everything else sludge on the bottom. But if we're gonna test it, we might as well test it. And this is the place to do it. All right, in three, two, one. Oh, the lipo's feeling it, man, but it's powering through. Nice. Shall we go back? Plenty of power to go on the, on the way back. Moving those big tires. Powering through. Big tidal wave heading the other side. <laughs> oh, and it quit. Is it? Oh, it was just my, just my uh, distance away, plus the water getting near the transmitter. One more time. Very nice. I'm impressed with this rig. Definitely is giving it all with those huge 2.2 tires. There's plenty of power to spare. All right, so just outside of the water, I've got an almost vertical climb. <laughs> I tried this with my Galenda the other day and it was darn near impossible. Got a bit of glitching because this is a uh, sensorless uh, motor, sensorless brushless motor, but enough yip yap and I'm gonna power down and get her up the vert here. <laughs> With ease. <laughs> Okay, so for the people that have been watching RC Adventures for quite some time, you may remember the 2015 TTC, or the Tough Truck Championship, um, that we allowed an open category of truck to enter, and, and so that included six by sixes, which this is right here. Uh, three axles, six wheels, six by six, all of them are powered axles. Um, this was actually the TTC winner, uh, referred to as Black Peter back in the day. Now, when uh, the owner, Craig, was actually selling this off, I didn't want to see it leave the show. Uh, and so I picked it up. And <laughs> for, the, for those that do remember Black Peter, Black Peter is no longer black. I've gone ahead and did, done a, a few changes, not too many changes, because this truck was beautiful by itself. I, I just couldn't bear to, to see it leave. Uh, in, in fact, this truck was slightly inspired by the HD Overkill build that uh, Dave David Jr. and I did, uh, or overkill rather altogether. Um, so we're pretty lucky to have this. It's almost like a cousin of overkill. So I had a bit of attachment to it already. Being a winner of the 2015 TTC, that was a score all by itself uh, uh, because really it is quite a power horse of a machine. <clears throat> Craig did a really good job building it. Now I haven't really done too much other than go in uh, add in the front winch, of course, and the hook, which is no big deal. I've replaced all the chrome on the body, uh, got rid of all the black paint, stripped it down, and, uh, you know, I, I was happy enough to, to get this uh, whole body looking fairly mint. I'll move this out of the way. Look at that. So this is a Tamaya bullhead body, modded on the back. 
it's just cut and mounted with two screws and then an inside bracket plate to actually go against the frame of the truck. Doesn't that look nice in red? Oh, it'd look nice if you'd move your hand. <laughs> yeah, new stacks, all the stickers, the decals looking pretty nice. I could upgrade to aluminum, but I know that this uh, truck is going to have some abuse coming its way one way or the other. So plastic is good because it'll take a beating and it's cheap to replace. Here in the back, this is where I store the 3S LiPo that's in there, 11.1 volts, uh, and it's just kind of tucked out of the way. It's a 5,000 milliamp uh, battery and a 30C discharge, which is more than ample for this truck right here. I haven't messed with the power system. It's quite different uh, than HD Overkill or Optimus Overkill uh, as we have now. Uh, in Optimus Overkill, I've got two different transmissions that are running two motors each. Now they're brushed motors and the reason I do that uh, is for a lot of torque, not necessarily speed. Now this fella right here has been set up with a dynamite system, a Fuse 1.8 scale uh, uh, ESC and I think a 3500 kV brushless motor, but it's not censored. So when I'm not running a censored system, it gives me a lot of cogging when going at slow speeds, which is jittering right but for mudding that's where it's at right I want some good wheel speed uh, and power now underneath when we're looking at drive shafts we got an MIP steel drive shaft right here MIP steel drive shaft right here and a plastic axial drive shaft in the back the reason why is we need a weak point in this drive line if something is going to snap if that back tire is locked up let that plastic drive shaft snap now, you've got a basic understanding of this truck. I say, uh, hopefully, I, I'm, I'm glad I filmed this before we went into the mud because now you guys can understand everything that's in there. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks. If you guys have enjoyed today's video and you want to see more, we've got lots of videos that are publicly uh, available right now, almost a thousand uh, tons of mud videos. And if you want to see the new stuff, go ahead and become a subscriber. It is for free. And remember to like and comment and if you really want to give it a share thanks a lot guys we'll see you in the next rc adventure thanks for tuning in <laughs> nice